Welcome everybody to another episode of Cars and Life. So I'm actually driving now with a new new update. Uh, this is actually the FSD Supervite ver version. So this is version 12.3.3. And just, just wanted to see, just quick, just do quick first impressions of uh, whether or not some of the things that I saw last time in version 12. Point. 3.2.1 uh, were, were fixed or addressed at least and so far it looks like um, still kind of having uh, the automatic speed speed max um, still seems to be a little fast um, so I'm pulling in now had a couple of comments before <clears throat> wanted me to see if it would um, auto park um, in a parking lot rather than just choosing the spot um, to see if it actually auto parks. So we're gonna see see what it does this time. Now I don't think it does that. So I'm just gonna let it drive, keep driving. It's probably gonna stop here. Yeah, it says press accelerator to resume, so. So it doesn't look like it's going to park automatically. So now I'm just pushing on the accelerator and then um, I'm gonna take it out now. And then I think I got other comments to see how easy it would be to switch sides for parking um, using the left um, scroll wheel. We'll see if that works. I know that if you keep scrolling on the right scroll wheel, then it'll switch over to the other side. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to scroll right, and it doesn't do anything. So I think you just have to use the right scroll wheel, and it automatically shifts to the to the left hand side and right hand side. Um, so I think that's what that is. Let's go ahead and do a quick park then. Where are we at here? Let's choose something way down, <laughs> way down the road here. How about that one way down here? Let's try that. Whoa. Oh, geez. That's really close to that truck. Sheesh. Wow. At least it feels close. <laughs> we'll see. And auto park cancel, take control. Okay. I just set it up for failure there, so it's probably my fault. <clears throat> Let's try another one. So it doesn't look like um, full self-driving will actually park in a parking spot automatically. Um, you have to choose it manually and using the left scroll wheel, um, you can't switch sides. You just have to keep scrolling and it'll automatically switch to the left or right hand side of the parking, parking lot. And this is about the same as last time. Got a car pulling behind us. There we go. So that's cool. And so pretty much what I've seen so far, um, it still speeds. Um, I think it goes too fast, at least in my neighborhood. I have a 25 miles an hour uh, neighborhood um, on my street. You know, there's, it's fairly um, slow driving. If you speed, you know, people will report you, so. I think it wants to go 38 and 25. I think that's that's too fast still. And then um, uh, let's go for another drive. Um, let's see uh, what happens in this drive. Drive southwest on State Highway 14 North for 2.7 miles. So we're leaving the parking spot. 
Let's see if it does it. All right, here we go. And before it was driving, um, whoa, oh wow, this is way off, oh my god, whoa, holy smoke. I don't know what happened there, that was strange. Dang. are wet it just rained um, so that was strange I don't know what what happened there um, anyway <laughs> um, the other cork um, with FSB beta FSD beta 12.3.2.1 was when you did a manual lane change it kind of there was like this s turn type of thing so it get over start getting over then it went back and then it got over all the way so um i haven't seen that yet so they might have fixed that um, so right now i think we're in a 45 and it's going 54. i would say that's pretty much the max that i would go on this road But pretty much uh, the same as before. Um, thanks everybody for all the comments. Um, uh, the video actually did much, much better than I was expecting. So I think this FSD stuff is really popular now. So I think anybody that posts a video is going to get quite a few views. So anyway, thanks for all the comments. I appreciate it. Um, and if you want to see something else, um, this is just kind of like a quick video. Just seeing if some of those things that I found last time were, were fixed. Um, so. It's kind of cloudy out. It's rainy. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a speed demon, man. <laughs> Approaching the section that drops down to 40, and last time it was going 58, uh, the max speed was 58, so we'll see if it um, has improved a little bit, maybe going a little slower. So now we're going 56, so we're coming up to that 40 mile an hour zone. Still thinks it's 50, and it is 50. And we're about to hit the 40 mile an hour sign, boom, here it is. And still, nope, no change, still going fast. It's a little slower, <laughs> 56 compared to 58 or 57, so. Anyway, still, still fast, so I'm gonna take it out. <clears throat> Oh, no. 
What in the hell? Now turn left onto New Mexico 330. Oh, this is all over the place. Your destination is on the right. Holy smoke, what is wrong with this thing? Wow. I am just kind of shocked here. How poorly this is doing. What's going on? Oh my god. What are you doing? Whew. Holy smoke. You know, I think it could be the fact that it's wet out and they're, um, <clears throat> the street lanes are maybe not easily seen. Maybe that's what it is. Do that subway trip again. I'm curious if we're gonna still see that same same behavior. I want to make sure that's a real thing. So let's I'm gonna end trip. Go to subway. Drive south on State Highway 14 North for 2.7 miles. No, oh my! See, wow, this is crazy. Just went the wrong way. Why did you think there was a turn there? Crazy. All right. I'm just going to get out of here. Okay. Let's start from back down here where we started in the last video. Something. I do notice that it's not this blue line doesn't go that far ahead. I don't know if it's having problems seeing or what. It's just kind of hugging the line there. Now turn left onto State Highway 14 North. Turn left. Here we go. All right. Made it. We'll turn right at the stop. That's good. And it still does stop pretty soon, you know, pretty far before the stop sign, and then it then it pulls forward after that, and then it sneaks forward. It's gonna do the same here. Whereas like a humid would probably go a little further up. But it's still good enough. All right, so let's do that same drive. I'm just curious if we're gonna run into that issue again. I think I'm gonna take it out of uh, this speed adjust. Make sure I don't have any offset. Yeah, I got some offset in there. Let's Set actually, so that's good. <laughs> 68 max. <laughs> Alright, let's just go down to 50. So it's getting dark now. turned off the auto speed max, so now it's just doing the speed limit automatically.
hopefully, hopefully you can um, you like this view better. I reposition the camera so you can see the full steering wheel and the full yoke. So, all right, this is better. So we're going 40 miles an hour now. <laughs> so that's 58, 57. Faster, oh my gosh. Now hopefully it'll be doing that soon, one of these days that fast. All right, um, so this is interesting. So about the same, I didn't notice any changes. Um, you know, the auto speed um, adjustment does seem to be a little bit fast still, about the same amount of fast as before. Um, I, it is having some issues with some of the turn-ins, um, for example, into this subway here. It just gets just getting confused. I don't know if it's the, the water on the road or the fact that it's low light, maybe a combination of both. And anyway, yeah, about the same. Um, so this is the version, um, it's, it looks like non-beta, it's the... Um, This is the supervised version, so we're getting close to, um, closer to unsupervised, I guess. So, anyway, um, hope this helps you guys. Um, appreciate you listening. <laughs>